that. Okay, so um, most of you obviously will have this whole thing finished. This is just my example. Uh, but what you should do to make this little square is you need to go up to File, New, and then you need to know the size of this. And if you're good at math, you should be able to tell that 2 inches plus 2 inches equals 4 inches. And the height stays the same. So the height is 3 inches. And the resolution is 72 pixels per inch. Okay, so we get this new little square. And you can kind of tell right off the bat that it's going to fit. It looks like it fits perfect. Okay, so what you want to do then is all I did was drag this because it comes and it's together like this. It'll be like together like this. So all I do is click, drag, and hold that, drag it off. Okay, and then this is where you would get your letters. I'm just going to kind of make a few fake letters. Okay. And you would just drag them in here. Okay, and you can resize your letters. You can make them any shape you want. Okay, uh, on my background layer, I'm actually going to make it a color. Again, you can just make it a solid color or a gradient. Probably gradient looks a little better. Okay, uh, let's pretend there's another letter here. Um, what you wanna do is probably write your name, your first or last name, that's what I would suggest. Oops. So I'm just, uh, normally you won't do this. You'll basically just grab the letters you already have. Unfortunately, I don't have letters, so I'm just kind of stealing them. Okay, so let's just say that my whole name is written there. What I wanna do in order to get this all together over here is merge all the layers. So you can click on the top letter, or layer one, and hit uh, Command E, and it will just merge. Okay, so once everything here is down to one layer, all you do is drag it back, <clears throat> and it should fit perfectly in the square, which it does. And then what you do is go File, Save for Web and Device, and this is the version we want to go on the internet. Okay, so play with JPEG. If it's around 100, awesome. If you can't get it lower than that, anything under a meg should go up. We'll hit save. Alphabet photography, great. Okay, so now comes the very important part where I will save this as something else. Okay, so alphabet photography, and I'm gonna just write gritty. That way it does not overwrite my original image. Okay, from here, what I'm gonna do, again, pretend you have all of your letters done and this is done as well, is hit Command E, or you can select them all and just go uh, right click Merge All. Unlock the background layer by just clicking it, hitting OK. And now this is just one picture, okay? Everything is just one thing. It's all together. And now we do Gritty HDR to this one picture and save it. And that's, you'll upload. So you'll have two versions of alphabet photography. You'll have a normal version, which we've already saved, and a gritty HDR version. And that's it.